Hey, what up, boys? So I wanted to make this video to give you guys my opinion on Kirk's Vault Pass. I've noticed that people are either really hot about it or really cold about it. It's a very divisive Vault Pass, and I would like to give you my take on it. Now, unlike a fair amount of other people, I like it. I am hot, all right? I am not on the cold edge of this at all. I think that this is another way for me to get at least five MTX that I will use on the regular, which I think to myself, well, how much do I already pay for MTX? And is this in a way a, uh, you shouldn't do that kind of argument? Sure, sure, MTX is expensive. And maybe shields shouldn't be $20 or something. But I would rather pay $30, have things that I can use for the majority of my gameplay. Like this Aegis Aurora. I have multiple builds that use this Aegis Aurora. It has a cool little glow effect on block. Compared to my other shields, this is very cool. And I'm thinking about in any other situation, for example, the fox pet that they brought out, which has very awesome animation, but it is a lot of points. This is a really good bang for my buck, and I, I'm going to use it, so I'm good with this. A Mjolnir, turns out my Hammercock build isn't quite de dead. Not only that, but I really enjoy making Mjolnir builds. They're really fun, so that's a plus for me. I'm never going to use Headhunter. I don't really go for that. I almost always have a watcher's eye. Cats don't fight. That's they're hungry. Um, Dying Sun. This is good. This this is all right for me too. Hands of the High Templar. Like there's a lot of things that I really like about this that I get for thirty dollars, which is not that bad. Now, are we worried about the idea that once they do this, it's going to mess with the economy? Well, it kind of has messed with the economy because. The Machinarium maps have gone up to like 6, 7x. But first, I think that's just the rush of people trying to get their Atlas done since it takes 117 Atlas points to fill this out. So I think a lot of that is just the rush of people trying to get that done. So, Mr. Don't Be a Rude Boy. Uh, to, <laughs> to get that done. And I think that the price is probably still going to be like 3, 4x because it usually is. However, if you play SSF, Good thing that you can spec into Kirik and he can drop a bunch of map rerolls for you and you can get Mechanarium because that is actually how I got mine and how multiple people have gotten theirs. So you don't necessarily have to buy it. And I think about all the other instances where we have had challenges in the past that have influenced the economy, like the one challenge we had where we had to ID uniques where you'd have to buy an unidentified unique for 2x and it was worth one alt. <laughs> or you'd have to buy a, a 30x item for now 70 or 60. Actually, I think it was like 55. You had to ID a Wind Ripper. Either way. So it's not the first time that it's impacted the economy, challenges, vault passes, what have you. So I don't really think that's like that much of a big deal and if anything like you find that map you make money you want to find that map you want to get to that headhunter then if you're going to get to that headhunter then you intend to use a headhunter which means you're going to get that map okay i i just was fortunate enough to already have had the 117 so this one isn't as as big of a deal for me another thing people have talked about is not liking the button here they find it intrusive What? How is it intrusive? It's actually nothing. It's like literally nothing. And if anything, I don't know if people know this, but you can hit Control and G. That will open up your Atlas tree. And there you go. If you want to hit Control G or it's just one more button. That seems completely fine for me. Now, again, I think that $30 for a bunch of MTX is definitely 
a bit on the higher side, but I think that there is enough in that MTX for me personally to make it worth my while. If it's not worth yours, then don't get it. But yeah, I really like it. And I hope some of you guys do too. And uh, that's, uh, that's what I got, guys. So have a great weekend.